Look at this dude. Whoosh, poppin' everybody. Welcome back to another mother game video. Hey man, if you haven't already, then so make sure you are subscribed to the Mup channel. Smash the like button, click that bell while you're in, so you can be a part of the post note gang family, best family on YouTube, and that's no cap hands down. Hmm. <laughs> Hey man, we are here for another Dark Man video today. Spoiled girl forced to work on farm. What happens is shocking. Sheesh. We're gonna do less talking, man, more reacting. Let's dive right into this mother video. Let's go. Are they speeding? Look, slow down. Are you trying to get us killed? Okay, that part. You sound like my dad. I drive like this all the time. That's not good. Why don't you turn the music off? <laughs> Oh my gosh, that might be Amy. Maddie, get my bag. Y'all, don't be texting and driving. Don't do that. Are you sure you should be texting while you're driving? Jess, relax. Okay? Both of you just have to chill out. Careful! What the heck? Oh my gosh, Brooke. I'm so sorry. Let me clean it up. There's no reason for you to be apologizing. That was all her fault, no, the way no, she's driving. Last season. My mom told me that she was going to get me the new Chanel and your desk boy bag anyway for my birthday. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, Amy locked in our ski passes for this weekend. Nice. <gasps> Is it so cool if we stay in your parents' ski chalet in Aspen? Yeah, of course. It's ours when we want it, but when we don't take it, my parents put up an Airbnb. It's the perfect setup. A vacation house that pays for itself. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let Amy know that we're in. Out. See, dumbass drivers, bro. And there's really people out here that be wrecking just because you texting and driving, man. I hate when people text and drive, bro. I don't, I don't do that. Look, sweetheart, are you okay? Are you hurt? No, I'm fine, mom. And Maddie and Jess are fine too. It's really not that big of a deal. It was just a little fender bender. It doesn't look so little to me. Well, it's not my fault that people don't know how to drive these days. I was literally minding my own business, and then the guy in front of me just slammed on his brakes for no reason. Oh my gosh, what in the world was he thinking? Good to see you again, Mr. Adams. Mrs. Adams. They must be a regular at the shop. So, I do have some good news and some bad news. Well, why don't you give me the good news first, because I don't think I can take any more bad today. Good news is, it's all fixable. There's no frame damage, should be all done within a week or so. Bad news is your insurance is gonna go up because she did slam into somebody who was waiting in a red line. Oh, you what? You lied to us? Mm, that you part. You on your phone again, texting and not paying attention? No, no, I really wasn't, I swear. Care. This is an estimate for the repairs. Oh, this is ridiculous. Our insurance is gonna shoot through the roof. You could pay up front if you'd like. I'll be in my office. Give you guys a minute to discuss it amongst yourselves. You know, I don't even get why you're so mad. This isn't even the car that I wanted for my sweet 16. Because it's a lot of money. How exactly do you expect us to pay for this? I don't know. Um, a credit card? Money doesn't grow on trees, Brooke. Well, technically. No, that is enough. I did not build a real estate empire so that my daughter could spend a fortune on clothes and cars. Until you can learn the value of money, you are not going to Aspen with your friends. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. <laughs> and you can forget about that new Chanel bag. What? No. Dude, that's Dude, gotta hurt too. It's not fair. Mom, you know how bad I want that bag. And Dad, we had that trip planned for weeks. What do you guys expect me to do? Just stay home while everyone else has fun without me? That part. No, of course not. No, you are going to come to Uncle John's farm with us this weekend. Mm. The farm? Mm. <laughs> no. That place is absolutely repulsive. I hate it there. No. That is a great idea. Besides, it'll give you a chance to catch up with your cousin Jenna. You haven't seen her in ages. Okay, well, there's literally nothing to do there. It's in the middle of nowhere. I'd rather just stay home. You don't have a choice. <clears throat> don't worry about all that fancy stuff. Because where we're going, you won't need any. Here we are. 
see? It's not as terrible as you said it was. You're right. It's way worse. <laughs> Come on, bro. Please don't say that. This farm has been in our family for three generations. Oh, wow. It's part of the Adams family legacy. This is one weekend of your entire life. It's not going to kill you. It, can we just stay in a hotel or something? I mean, I'm sure there's a St. Regis around here. Oh, St. Regis out here. I don't, the best I don't know what type of hotel that Western, is. Western, a couple cities down. But it sold out, we checked. Oh, damn. Turns out it's becoming quite the popular trend for city folk to come out and experience the farm life. Why would anyone want to come out here? Nature, it's good for you. I'm just saying the sooner we get back to civilization, the better. Well, if it isn't my favorite city slickers. <laughs> city slickers. <laughs> it is so good to see you. Oh, what? I'm not getting any signal out here. Ah, uh, yeah. Services pass you out in our neck of the woods. You can use the home phone. Either. In our neck of the woods. <laughs> you need to make a call. A landline? I know. Seriously? I know plenty of people, bro, that's like that. Like, even in my family, bro. <laughs> no. What's the Wi-Fi password? Unfortunately, no Wi-Fi either. Dang. We ain't got dial-up. Dial-up? What the heck is dial-up? Brooke, don't be so rude. Remember your cousin, Jenna? Hey, Brooke. <laughs> Gosh, it's so good to see you again. Oh. <laughs> I was just about to bring the animals in. You want to come say hi to them and help me? Uh, no. I'm going to be inside, but thank you so much. Ooh. I hope she's going to be okay. Give her some time. I reckon she'll love it out here. Man, I would not be worrying about if she's going to be okay, man. If anything, this is going to be her punishment. <laughs> she may not even want to leave. Oh, that'll be like cows in here. It is disgusting. That would be interesting. Oh. I highly doubt that. <laughs> Come on. Oh, damn. Time to get up. What the? I guess you better get some earplugs. Watch go. That's tough. Wow, look what the cat dragged in. <laughs> What's for breakfast? Everybody already ate? Seriously? Mm -hmm. Hope it was that rooster. <laughs> Where's John and Jenna? They're out working. They get an early start around here. There's a lot of work to do on the farm. I don't get why they don't just hire people to do it for them. I mean, clearly they could use it. This place looks like it could blow away in a gust of wind. Hey, someone's awake. I would have been up sooner if it weren't for all that crowing at some ungodly hour. <laughs> yeah, that's our rooster, Pedro. He didn't bother you, did he? No. I love being woken up before it's laid out. Oh my gosh, I'm starving. Who do I talk to to make me some eggs? Oh, Brooke. She Uncle John and Cousin Jenna don't have a chef like we do. She I can make you some before I head back out to finish. But you, oh my gosh, you're a lifesaver. I like them sunny side up with just a dash of lemon pepper. Thank you. Lemon pepper? She don't know how to cook some eggs, bro. Ugh. See, spoiled kids that are like that, man. You can never allow your kids to grow up like that. That's just sad. There's still no service. How does anyone live out here? You can survive for one weekend. I'll be back home tomorrow night. Can't come soon enough. Well, you certainly know your way around the kitchen, Jen. <laughs> well, after what happened, I picked up most of the cooking. I got pretty good at it, if I may say so myself. Well, maybe you can teach Brooke a thing or two. You know, your mom would have been so proud of you. I hope you know that. Hey, Brooke, as soon as you're finished eating, it would be really nice if you return the favor, help Jen out with some of her work. I can't, I'm booked all day. What? 
I am. I have to do my nails today, and then I'm trying that new face mask. And I have to make my playlist for the drive home. You know, actually, I think I'm going to get started on that now. So, Jenna, when you're done with those eggs, can you bring them to my room? Bro, she is not your maid. And remember, sunny side up with just a pinch of lemon pepper. Okay? Brooke, Jenna is not your servant. I never said she is. Jenna, you wouldn't mind, right? Um, great. <laughs> and please don't overcook the eggs. I like them just a little bit runny. Thanks. <laughs> Hey, sweetheart, after you're done, you mind helping me out back? Tractor's acting up again. Of course not, Dad. You're such a sweetheart, Dad. You're always so helpful. Yeah. I wish some of that would rub off on Brooke. I regret spoiling her so much. Leave her here a while. There's plenty of extra space. Sure, she'd learn a thing or two. Ooh. There's nothing more humbling than cleaning horse manure. <laughs> <laughs> that would be some tough, <coughs> a tough a way of uh, receiving your punishment. Imagine the, the parents just dipping off and going back to the city. Ooh, that's going to be tough. Actually, you know, that really isn't a bad idea. Not at all. She's like, I don't know about that. You ain't going nowhere, Brick. I just have to finish packing and then I'll be ready. Um. I would have just left if I was the parent. That's what your dad and I came to speak to you about. That's what I would have done. We've been discussing this and we think that it would be best if you stayed here through the end of winter break. <laughs> good one. We're serious. It'd be good for you to experience life on the farm. Plus your Uncle John, he's been looking for a couple of extra helping hands around here. Yeah, right. There's no service, no Wi-Fi, and no mall. It's basically a prison. You guys just can't abandon me here. Okay, look, Brooke, if you really want to follow in my footsteps, then you have to learn the value of hard work. And believe me, there is no better place for that than here. Think of it as a working vacation. You'll get to be around all the animals, and you'll get to hang out with Jenna. Uh, no. Absolutely not. I am not staying here. I refuse. This is not up for discussion. Damn. We'll be back in a couple weeks. Damn. On Christmas. Ooh. That's tough. We should go if we're going to avoid traffic. You guys aren't funny. <laughs> I'm not falling for it. <laughs> yep. Stay out of there. Wait. You guys just can't leave without me? You guys, stop! We'll see you soon! You're the worst parents in the world! Oh. I guess they broke the news. I'd rest up. We have a lot of work ahead of us. We'll start tomorrow. What are you talking about? I'm not doing any work. Sorry, broke parents' orders. They said they're not picking you up if you don't listen. Oh! Well, this is a good way to punish your child. I ain't gonna lie. 4.30. That is early. Mm. Rise and shine, sleepyhead. Mm. Pick me up in a couple hours. No can do. We're already behind schedule. Come on. Get up, brush your teeth. Let's go. Oh. 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 Hi, gorgeous. Good morning. All right, I am going to feed and turn out the horses if you want to get started mucking out stalls. Ooh, that's good. That's 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 tough. That's tough. That's tough. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with that? You clean up the soil shavings. You use the shovel to pick up the poop and put it in the bucket. The what now? You'll be fine. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to change? I have some overalls and extra work boots. Uh, uh, no, I walk around Rome on cobblestone roads in these heels all the time. Think I can handle this. 
Okay? Suit yourself. Come on, baby. That's nasty. Having a rough time being on that farm, bro. Fell back into some poop. Oh. I'm surprised she's still wearing heels, bruh. That chicken chasing her. She probably got blisters all on her feet. You ain't gonna take a shower? That's nasty. Oh. <sighs> Every muscle in my body is aching right now that just means you put in a good week's work <coughs> and to thank you for all your hard work i made you breakfast i'm sorry the eggs aren't sunny side up i just kind of lost track of time she was hungry that plate did look good i ain't gonna lie i want some breakfast now so you ready for another day Oh. I will do anything for this food, but please tell me there's no excrement of any kind. Well, um, no, not this time. <laughs> Jeez, talk about a fixer upper, huh? Yeah. We used to have a lot more sheep in here, but we had to sell off most of the flock in order to stay afloat. And then this just kind of became a junkyard storage area. It's been a rough last couple of years. If you want to get started clearing the cobwebs, I am going to get working on the insulation. Keeping up with the farm has definitely got to be hard work, man. I could not imagine doing this. Well, it looks like she's definitely getting satisfaction doing this type of work. She is. So that's so this is a good sign. Definitely the punishment is working. You know, if you guys fix this place up, it would actually be pretty nice. Maybe. But we don't really have the kind of money for that. Yeah, I don't really understand. I mean, you used to have an entire staff of people here helping you out. Well, my mom. It's okay if you don't want to talk about it.
When my mom got sick, the insurance companies wouldn't pay for her treatments. So we ended up taking out a bunch of loans on the farm. And we do our best to pay them down, but every time we make a dent, it just seems like the interest rate gets higher and higher. To be honest, we might even have to sell this place before Christmas. And that kills me to think what that would do to my dad. It was Grandpa's final wish to keep this farm in our family. Yeah, that's gotta be, that's, that's I'm hard, so man. Sorry, that's Jenna. hard. I honestly, I had no idea. But if you guys need money, why doesn't your dad just talk to my parents? I know they'd help you out. He's too prideful. He would never ask for money. You'd be mad knowing I was even here telling you about this. I know that you don't love the animals or like being outside or anything about the farm, really. But to us, this place is home. Yeah. <clears throat> well, <laughs> I can honestly say that in the beginning, I hated it here. But I do think that it has the potential to slowly grow on me. A little. A little bit. I can see why my mom said a lot of people like to come out here and why the motels are always booked out. I bet people would even want to stay here. Oh my God. Flip it into like an Airbnb. That's it. Sorry. You guys have this amazing unused space right in front of you. I mean, you could refurbish this and rent it out on Airbnb. That's just gonna take more money though. It's actually not a bad idea. But realistically, they don't have the money to fix it. Yeah. Well, then just start with the bedrooms in the house. I mean, think about it. You have this great location. You're right near all the big vineyards and wineries. And you can offer a real farm experience by giving out like fresh milk and eggs. Oh my god, we can literally market it as like a farm chic little country getaway. <laughs> that would be good and all, uh, as long as the uh, Airbnb ho or customers are not going to be upset with the uh, roosters and chickens waking them up at 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> I mean, everyone loves a good bed and breakfast. It would basically rent out itself. You think so? I, I wouldn't even know how to start. I mean, I've never done anything like that before. I'll help you figure it out. I literally grew up in my dad's real estate office. I've seen him do it like a thousand times. <laughs> Jenna, come on. What do you have to lose? It's a are good, you gonna give up on the farm or are you gonna fight for it? Fight for it. And it's a good, that's a good way of making good money. i the dial-up. <laughs> Cooking her eggs. Thank you so much for this incredible experience. We had a lot of fun. And the food was amazing too. You're welcome, come back anytime. Wow. I can't believe it. It's a Christmas After miracle. After a few more stays, we'll be caught up on our mortgage. Oh, thanks to Brooke. No, it was a team effort. I guess it's gonna be a pretty good Christmas after all. Yeah. It won't be easy. Gonna be the first one without Margaret. Oh, so this is a recent death. Gosh. I miss her so much. 
Is that our next guest? Check-in's not for another hour. No, I think that's my parents. Merry Christmas! Oh, Merry Christmas! Hi, Dad! Merry Christmas! Hi, Mom! Hi! Hey, I've never seen that outfit before. Is that Chanel? The farm life is growing on her. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> I hope you learned a little something from Uncle John and Jenna. She wasn't too much trouble, was she? Not at all. In fact, we actually learned a lot from her. She had this amazing idea for us to rent out our extra rooms. Turned out to be a big hit. You did. Good. Yeah. And we're completely booked out through the end of July. Dang. They really, they, people really want to go visit that farm life, huh? <laughs> <laughs> She's even been helping out around the farm. My daughter? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. Wait, I have Wi-Fi now? Oh, yeah. We brought the hotspot along. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. Thank you. I have been dying without my phone. That's our daughter, all right. Oh, before I forget. That's a lot of notifications. Got a little surprise gift for you. Is that the boy bag I've been wanting? Yep. And? I saved the ski chalet in Aspen so you and your friends can go for the New Year's. Really? You know what, Mom? I think that we should just return the bag and use the money for something else. Did you want a different bag? Oh, <laughs> no. I think we should use the money to help Uncle John and Jenna refurbish their barn so they can rent it out. Are you sure? Because I know how bad you wanted this. <laughs> yeah. I'm very sure. This is a good turnaround for her. And Dad, rent the ski chalet to someone else because I think it'd be better if we spent Christmas here all together. Okay. If it's okay with Uncle John and Jenna. Are you kidding me? That'd be the best news ever. <laughs> Certainly make things a lot less lonely. Well, it's settled then. It's gonna be an Adams Family Christmas. Oh, yay. <laughs> I do have one request though. Can no one wake you at 4.30 a.m. because I'd like to sleep in for once. I would like to say yes, but Pedro, he makes no promises. <laughs> Who's Pedro again? The rooster. The devil. The devil. That's who. Him. <laughs> My goodness. Well, Brooke had a good turnaround, man. So I'm glad to see that. But yeah, man, sometimes these spoiled kids just need a good little... Life lesson for them to turn their acts around, bruh. So, hey, man, if you guys made it to the end, I know this is a long reaction, so I do appreciate for anybody that did stick around and watch the whole video. But, hey, man, make sure you smash the like button, leave a comment down below, click that bell while you're at it. And until next time, I'm going to see y'all next time. I'm out.